Uh, hey, DF Crew exclamation point. Back in 2014, I vividly remember uh, how upgrading from the PS3 version of Borderlands 2 to the PC version was mind-blowing, mostly because of its highly <laughs> impressive implementation of NVIDIA's PhysX technology. The interactive fluid simulation for elemental types, as well as uh, cloth physics on props, which you could shoot into different sections, were truly ambitious and, dare I say it, cromulent. Ex exclamation point. <laughs> Why don't we see features and technology like this today in an era where you can quote unquote drag and drop similar features in popular engines such as UE5 and Alex? Are we still going to see a video covering the legacy of PhysX? Exclamation point question mark. Thanks, crew. Exclamation point. Um, Alex, oh, yeah. so there, there's been movement on the PhysX. There's been movement. There's, there's been events <laughs> happening. Yes. So. so the background, I tested the, a Geophysics card that I have. It's not working. So oh. I, I I ordered up two more. So <laughs> two, more. Uh, well, two more. Well, I originally ordered one, but the person also had another one, interestingly enough. So they're sending me that too for the same price, which is great. Okay. Uh, so I'll have two, and I, let's hope so that one of them works. you ordered both... one, but you're, you've, you've got a buy one, get one free scenario. I got a buy one, get one free scenario, okay. which was awesome. Uh <laughs> And I'm going to plug those in. Those should be the normal PCI ones. I had a PCIe 1.1X one, one, which is more annoying because that's uh, arguably less, it's less portable. But either way, so that video is definitely going to, that video is definitely going to come. I'm going to get it working and then I'm going to test out a lot of games, figure out the best way I want to like demo it and all these things. And then also figure out a way to like compare it to like GPU acceleration of physics, which is another part of the video eventually. Um, but the whole physics thing and why games don't do cool physics stuff anymore, largely. Uh, well, one, there's no NVIDIA back push for this anymore to a large degree where back then it was a great differentiating factor for NVIDIA GPUs, CUDA running PhysX on your GPU and um, uh, NVIDIA wanting to differentiate. They sponsored games to add this in. I'm sure developers also wanted it in too for the marketing purposes and also because it made the game look really cool. Um, but uh, since that isn't a thing anymore, there's just less sponsorship of it. There's not a great incentive to do it. The other incentive is like the gameplay aspect. And Oliver talked about this before where, and we've talked about it before on the channel, we're like in the PS 360 era and like right until the Xbox one PS4 era began, there was actually a larger systems driven design that was happening that uh, went by the wayside for the large point and was narrative driven, single player, more controlled experiences, uh, kind of became more favorable. You have the difference of like, look at the difference between Crisis and Call of Duty. They came out in the same year. They present uh, single player campaigns that people really like, but they have radically different design on the modern, like the this first person shooter formula. One's very physics and simulation driven and the other one isn't. And you see less of that crisis -y kind of style approach to like physical sandbox that you can play in to some other one. And over time, that disappears so much so uh, that it's just not a, a big feature of games. And so when I think when you see games having a great example is actually what happened at the beginning of the, the Xbox One X, uh, sorry, Xbox One generation, where instead of having like physics being there, you saw like a change where like there would be a physics event that would occur and they would use like Alembic yep. animations and which are not real real-time physics they're a played back like, yep. vertex cache animation so uh and it just goes to show that it was more about bringing spectacle about that wasn't player driven usually to one that was just like um like beforehand is where like you just touch something in the world and it reacts in a slightly silly but somewhat realistic way and it's a lot of fun and uh, you know i like i definitely like that approach i definitely like that weird physics approach i found it always so fascinating to like i don't know blow up a box and have all like the paper fly out or any of the cool stuff that physics did I, i'm a big fan of it uh, a lot of people disliked it they called it you know like a frame rate killer but the reasons for it being a frame rate killer in retrospect are actually interesting and i hopefully i can go into that in the physics video when I do talk about it. Because GPUs now, they're more equipped than it than they ever were before for doing that kind of stuff without it killing the frame rate. Um, yeah, we don't see mm -hmm. it. Anything to add to that, John? 
I mean, I'm just thankful we have games like Teardown and Control, I'd even say, yeah. uh, still yeah. happening these days that push physics. And I do think it can be an interesting gameplay feature, but it can also be a difficult one to tame for the design. So I think it's both hardware and design related but that we don't see it as often as we might like, because it does take a certain yeah. level of of care to implement that into your game in a way that's actually meaningful and interesting. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. I mean, control obviously launched with a lot of issues on the uh, last generation consoles oh, yeah. simply due to the fact that, which brings me onto another topic actually as to why the sort of shift away from physics has come down to hardware balance really in the consoles where, well, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, comparatively had a, a much stronger focus on CPU. Therefore, you saw a lot of CPU-driven systems, right? And, uh, you know, you go back to games like Crackdown or whatnot. You know, I spent hours in Crackdown just testing the physics, just, you know, doing crazy stuff with mm -hmm. gigantic explosions to see what would happen. You know, that's that's not... Fracture. Really... Yeah, so many yeah. great Red sort of... Fashion Gorilla. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh my God, that game's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, obviously we moved to Jaguar in 2013 with the um, with the eighth generation of consoles and that sort of, you know, where we did see games like Just Cause 3, it all went horribly wrong in terms of performance um, because, oh, you know, gosh. it simply wasn't really designed for that, that kind of experience. And I'd argue, you know, we were hoping, I think that the CPU, the Zen 2 CPU and the consoles has turned into a bit of a anti-climax, I would say. Obviously, it's a lot better than, than Jaguar, but it isn't really enabling these kind of physics-driven systems. A lot of it seems to be do, being done on the, on the GPU, right? Certainly in tender, Teardown, I'd imagine. Yes, Teardown, I'm pretty sure it actually all has to... What, majority be done on the, mm, the GPU think. for it to work at all. Yeah, yeah um, that's an interesting But I will one. be looking forward to your content on this, Alex, because um, it's one of these kind of um, evolutionary paths, branches that kind of withered uh, in, the, yeah. in gaming. And looking back at some of the stuff that we saw, you know, Mirror's Edge is a classic example, right? Yeah, the best. <laughs> yeah mirror's edge looks awesome i'm gonna dig out so many games that people forgot i'm gonna dig out i actually dug out dark void secretly for a video last year right uh and i, I it's it's featured in a video oh. last year can anyone guess which video it is no because it's a secret apparently it's a secret, it's a secret. yeah but it's actually in the avatar video oh, okay the, the the music in the video oh. is all from dark void that's why it's so good because it's bear mccreary man uh, god you know, of war so nothing Galactica to do with physics god of war no, it doesn't have to do with the physics, but uh, but I just I had to dark void. Uh, I'm gonna bring out back cryostasis. Uh, cryostasis. I'm gonna bring back. Oh, I'm gonna bring back everything, baby. I tried to We're install dark void on, on the Steam Deck. I'm bring back Graw. and it spectacularly exploded. It did not work. Oh, it did. <laughs> Steam Deck did not, not like that game at all. Thankfully, it did not <laughs> literally explode. But <laughs> the only thing is, I need to track down a copy of cryostasis. Oh, I got oh, it with. I have a physical GPUs box years ago. copy. Here, okay, the then I may need to ask you for it. Send me the ISO I'll send or something. You the ISO. Because, <laughs> yeah, because I, I don't have my copies. I had digital copies of that game, two of them, and I've lost them since. Oh. NVIDIA gave them to me, by the way. NVIDIA gave them to me. Okay. So I maybe should call up NVIDIA Jensen, tell him to give me my cryostasis. <laughs> cryostasis back. was cool. Man. <laughs> that was a cool game. It is a cool Just game. Just have the conceit Sleep that you've reason. got uh, Jensen on speed dial. <laughs> yes, he's right here. <laughs> Uh, and fingertip away. Uh, fingertip dear. away.